Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add phone number in Canva in your contact guest form. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just under this video. So let's get started. Now, how do you add your phone number or how do you add a phone number field in your contact guest form? Well, what you need to do first here is we want to go ahead and basically open up our Canva um, website or any poster you have. So in this case, we have a website here. So let's go ahead and click on add page so, we, so that we have a space. Now, what we need to do next is we want to access a following website here, which in this case, we can add a phone number field, which in this case is going to be jotform.com. Now, you can sign up here for free. So you could go and click on sign up with Google with your Microsoft account, or you can manually create your account. But since I already have my account here, let's go ahead and click on log in. And let's go and choose our Google account here. And we want to proceed with our Google account here. And once we've done that, let's go and click on continue. And you should be able to see the homepage here for Jot Form. Now, let's go and create our, um, this case, our form. Let's go and click on create in the all assets section. Or you can go and click on create at the top left. Now, from here, let's go and choose form. Let's go and click on create form. And from here, let's go and choose use template. Now, from here, let's go and choose or click on search in all templates and just type in contact and just press enter. And from here, we want to go and choose the form. So you could also click on contact forms here just to see all the forms or contact forms that you could use. So let's go and scroll down a bit here and we want to choose one of the forms. So maybe I want to use this one. Let's go and click on the use template for this one and it should generate your template here and you should be able to start editing it. So as you can see right now, we can add the name section, the email, the phone number. So by the way, if you want to change a few things like properties, you can click on properties. You can change the label alignment and a few things here. You could also go to options. So you could choose the country code here if you want to enable that. Also input mask here if you want to obviously mask the input. And if you want to go to advanced, you have your placeholder, hover text, whenever a user hovers over it and basically add if it's read only shrink or hide field if you want to hide it but once you've done all the uh, the edits you want here by the way if you want to edit add a new element you can click on add element at the top left here basically choose whatever field that you want to add but since we already added or you uh, have our phone number here well in this case if you don't have your phone number you can add phone number so if the default form that you have it does not have that go and add it manually so once you've done that what we need to do next is we now need to go to settings now under settings, you could basically change a few things like the title for this form. So in this case, uh, I could go ahead and choose to change this one. So contact us form would be good. You could go to emails here. So in this case, you could go ahead and choose the autoresponder here for drop form and notification is going to be on the following email address. So if you want to ed edit this one, go ahead and click edit change the actual email here. So from title uh, and the name here, the recipient. So send their name, which is job form, the email to reply to. So in this case is going to go back here and you can go ahead and set your conditions if you want to add some logic into it. But once you've edited all the information here and edit all your pages, you can go ahead and click on the publish tab at the top right here. And you can just basically start adding it in to your website. So in here, you want to go and click on copy link once you are in the direct link for your off your form here. Click on copy link. You want to go back into your Canva website and you want to go and click on text and just add a heading or any kind of text here. Now you can just type in whatever you want here. So I'm just going to just say contact. And from here, let's go and highlight this. So press control A to highlight everything or every text you have here. You want to choose or click on the link icon here. Now let's go ahead and paste the link that we just copied and you just want to wait for a few seconds until you see it actually change. So it might be different. So you could go and press enter if it doesn't change immediately. And as you can see, we have enter your link search. So the views are quite different. So you want to go to display mode here. Instead of link, you want to choose embed and start. It should start loading up our website as you can see right now. And as you can see, we now have a contact form. Now what you need to do next is you just need to click on the publish website here. And from here, let's go and click or add our website URL. So let's just say this is going to be our uh, following uh, website or have a website here. Let's go and click on publish website. It's going to start preparing our design. And once it's actually prepared, you can go ahead and start visiting it and viewing it. And basically, we now have a phone number form or field on our contact us form. But in this case, that's about it. 
So, if you're fond of this video, hopefully hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.